guys and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a species spotlight. I asked you guys on Facebook which of three new species I have in you'd like to see and you guys chose Achysis Vespa. Um, it goes by a lot of common names. The orange banded hillstream catfish, the mini wasp catfish, Burmese orange bee catfish, um, a whole bunch of different names. I just call them Achysis Vespa because that's the easiest to remember for me. Now Achysis are unique in a few ways, but I think the most interesting way that they're unique is that Vespa actually is Latin for wasp and these catfish can sting, so you need to be careful when handling them. They actually have poison glands uh, near their pectoral fins that makes gives them a venomous sting. So let's take a look. Now, Achysis come from the Adirond River drainage in Myanmar, and the water is really clear. It has gravel to sand to rock type um, substrate. So in an aquarium, if you were housing them, you would want to offer some decent substrate. Um, relatively soft as they do spend most of their time on the bottom. Now, they are pretty nocturnal. You don't see a whole lot of them in the daylight. Um, there are some exceptions and you can also see that they will utilize hardscape to the utmost. Um, burrowing into crevices, hiding underneath it. Really, really cool fish. Now this tank is a bit turbulent right now because they have been fed frequently and they just make an enormous mess. I'm gonna drop some Daphnia in for you guys so you can see their feeding behavior because they're really pretty awesome. Now generally they feed in this swirling circular pattern. It kind of reminds me of a Tasmanian devil. really really active fish they get about an inch and a half slightly larger they can take a range of pH from six to seven and a half temperatures from the mid 60s to the mid 70s uh, they are a meat eater though I do find that they take dried and prepared foods pretty well though I like to supplement them with live or frozen worms or Cyclops or Daphnia things like that you can see they have a really unique and beautiful pattern really gorgeous little fish. Uh, again, you do have to be careful of that sting. I'm very careful when handling these guys. Um, the females are fatter and when they're carrying eggs, supposedly you can see them through their abdomen. They, these guys do really well in an Asian hill stream setup with um, Danios, Devarios, Gastromyzon, Pseudogastromyzon. You can see how they just stir everything up when feeding. They're really fun to watch though. Really fun to watch. And while they're not like a schooling fish, like a loach, they really do seem to enjoy being in groups. You should have uh, some driftwood or boulders in your tank so that they have these places to hide for their comfort. Once these guys are done their first uh, two weeks of quarantine, I will definitely be giving them substrate to make them more comfortable. But all in all, a really unusual little catfish. Now I would keep them with shrimp with caution just because the widest point of their, of their entire being is their mouth. Uh, and generally that doesn't bode well for, for little shrimp. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stop by my Facebook as well as my website, MsJinx.com, where you can find my upcoming speaking engagements, my current stock list, and information on all things nano. As always, if you have any suggestions or comments, let me know below. I'm also thinking about doing a live stream, so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in watching on Facebook sometime and what times are best for you.